let's discuss more deeper what is aggregation stage and which aggregation stages exist in aggregation framework. Each stage works independent from others. Each stage takes documents as an input, then performs its operation and outputs documents. This can be same documents, for example, reordered or limited to certain number, or it can be brand new documents when we use, for example, group stage. All what I want you to keep in mind is that each stage doesn't impact other stages. So, result of one stage just simply passed to another stage, and so on. Stages are independent. Ok, let's look at the stage operators. Each stage starts from the stage operator, prepended by dollar sign, and then comes an object. Let's look at the examples. In the first example, we use match aggregation stage operator. Then comes colon and then object. Object contains key value pairs. We will not look at contents of each object in this case, because we will discuss each stage operator individually. But for now, you just need to remember how to construct each stage. So again, stage operator, for example, group or sort, prepended by dollar sign, then colon and object with key value pairs. Let's make a quick overview of some stage operators that are used in aggregation framework. Match. It is used to filter documents by certain query. Group. Groups documents by certain criteria. Project. Filters fields in the documents. Sort. Sorts objects. Count. Counts number of objects or documents. Limit. Limits number of the documents. Skip. Skips certain amount of documents. Out. Writes result of the aggregation into another collection. No worries, we will talk about each of those operators later in the course. Next, we will discuss what is aggregation expression and where it is used. See you shortly.